Winona and I will be wearing masks and gloves the entire season as Hopper and we don't really know what the future holds. I mean, the, the funny thing about this... After the season three finale of Stranger Things, questions were asked regarding the continuation of the franchise. And to the delight of the fan base, season four was confirmed, but to a large extent still remained a mystery. That is, until now. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the biggest secrets in season four of Stranger Things. But before that, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We're giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, but be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First is the episode list. A popular question fans have speculated about is the number of episodes Season 4 will consist of. In order to investigate the issue, let's look back at the previous seasons. Season 1 of the show had a grand total of 8 episodes, and to the surprise and joy of the fans, Season 2 had 9 episodes. The upwards climb in content did unfortunately stop there, with Season 3 having 8 episodes once again. Following this trajectory, we can guess that Season 4 of the show will once again show an increase consisting of 9 episodes. That being said, even if this theory turns out to be wrong, I believe the fans could expect more episodes of adventurous content, seeing as this will most likely be the last season. The first episode is called The Hellfire Club. The name of the first episode of Season 4 has been released, along with a question from the writers of the show, namely, looking for new members, are you in? It is from this information that I believe we could be looking at the introduction of new characters, forming what we later come to know as the Hellfire Club. Who are these new characters and what is the purpose of the Hellfire Club? Does the club even have anything to do with our original characters, and is it meant to be an easter egg for the Marvel Society of the same name? I suppose we'll just have to see. Next is the release date. The most prominent question on the lips of every fan is simply, when is the release? When can we expect to feast our eyes on the sci-fi wonder that is Stranger Things? The showrunners have a bit of tell when it comes to the release date of their popular show. What is this tell, you may ask? I have two words for you, boys and girls. Holiday seasons. That's right, the Duffer Brothers have a tendency to base different seasons of the show on different festive holidays. Think about it. In Season 2, the story arc took place during the Halloween season, while Season 3 took place during the 4th of July. This makes me believe we're likely to see Season 4 being released at the beginning of 2021, either in celebration of New Year's or Memorial Day, but who knows for sure. Maybe the Duffer Brothers decide to release the season late in 2020, celebrating Christmas. Come on, Duffer Brothers, make our Christmas dreams come true. What year is the show set in, though? As with any popular television show using child actors, the year it is set in is quite important, as children grow up pretty quickly. You couldn't possibly have Will sporting a fully grown beard at 17, right? So, considering this important aspect, the question that remains is what year will Season 4 be set in? Since Season 4 is likely due to come out late this year or early next year, there will be no dramatic age jumps between the cast members and their characters, so the show itself will not need to make a significant time hop to keep up. Considering that the first season of the show took place in 1983, the second in 1984, and the third in 1985, the chances are quite high that the fourth season will be set in 1986. If this is the case, it might give us a bit of a hint about where the story might be going. What can we expect in the story then? With the release of HBO's first season of acclaimed miniseries Chernobyl in May of last year, everyone and their poodle has come to know of the radioactive disaster that took place near the city of Pripyat in 1986. What does this have to do with Season 4 of Stranger Things, you might ask? Well, if our earlier theory regarding the year in which Season 4 is set turns out to be true, this will be the same year as the Chernobyl disaster. Rumors on Reddit seem to suggest this is so, but that being said, they are highly unsubstantiated. It would be great to have the Stranger Things universe built around a real-life disaster, as this always increases the worth of a show and adds to its ever-growing lore. Considering that the Demogorgon is seemingly alive and in the possession of the Russians, as shown towards the end of the Season 3 finale, anything is possible really. Okay, let's check out the returning cast members. Our hearts sank last season when the lovable Sheriff of Hawkins, Jim Hopper, disappeared in a blast of light, sacrificing himself so that the portal to the Upside Down could be closed and the town could be saved. 
all that remained was a flicker of hope, with the unknown Russian soldier at the very end of the finale mentioning the American they had captured. Could Hopper have somehow made it to relative safety in the Upside Down, only then to be captured by Russian soldiers or scientists who were exploring the dimension from the other side of the world? It's a stretch, but definitely possible. However the Duffer Brothers want to explain it, the news is in with the dropping of the teaser trailer for Season 4. That's right, boys and girls, Hopper is back! He will once more be portrayed by David Harbour, who in the teaser can be seen rocking the style of a bald head, similar to how we were first introduced to Eleven. Hmm, interesting. So who else can we expect? To avoid rioting in the streets, the original cast will, of course, be back. Millie Bobby Brown is returning as Eleven. Finn Wolfhard as Mike, Gatton Matarazzo as Dustin, Caleb McLaughlin as Lucas, Noah Schnapp as Will, and Sadie Sink as Max. Other lovable characters such as Joyce Byers, Steve the Hare Harrington, Jonathan and Nancy will also be returning, along with the newest star of the show, Robin, portrayed by Maya Hawke. Let's get back to our boy Hopper for a second. The death of Jim Hopper shocked everyone as he has always been a fan favorite. The character developed from the uncaring, cold-hearted sheriff of a town to a lovable goofball learning how to deal with the ins and outs of bringing up a young girl. Not only did he save Eleven, he saved the entirety of Hawkins. So if it weren't for him, there would be no Season 4. Well, I have some good news for you boys and girls. According to David Harbour, Season 4 will, in a sense, spend some time revolving around the character. Not only will a huge secret be revealed about the history of Hopper, we will finally learn why he is how he is. Considering that not much is known about Hopper, and that we have only been given slight glimpses into the man's history, I am incredibly excited to see where this goes. Where there's a will, there's a way. Now this is more of a reminder than a secret, as honestly I have no idea how this will pan out in the end. There are just too many possibilities. Noah Schnapp has said in interviews that there is a possibility that Will might have his own story arc in Season 4 taking place in a top-secret location. Could this location be the town that the Byer family has moved to? Or maybe it's the Upside Down? Is Will going to develop powers due to his control by the Mind Flayer? Like I said, the possibilities are endless, but I cannot wait to find out more. What about Eleven and her powers? Season 4 will also be a really important season for the development of Eleven. Not only is she dealing with the loss of her father figure, Jim Hopper, she's also dealing with the loss of her psychic and telekinetic powers which have become a staple for the show. I mean, without them, the avid adventurers would have been caught or worse killed before the end of Season 1. Now, living with the Byers family, Eleven will likely set forth on a journey of self-discovery. In Season 3, her story arc revolved around the need to obtain some independence from Hopper, who she believed to be controlling. Now that Hopper is dead, she has been forced into the scenario that she so badly wanted to be in, albeit in a different set of circumstances. I believe her journey will be a long one where she learns to be the independent woman she needs to be, finally regaining her powers and using them to discover that Hopper is, surprise surprise, still alive. This will allow her character to develop into someone who's not only able to think for herself, but shows that she really does care for the man that gave up everything to bring her up. If this is indeed the way the showrunners take the Eleven story arc, there will be ample time for dramatic dialogue, training montages, and of course, a reunion that is sure to make even the toughest of fans break down in tears. We're not in Hawkins anymore. That's right, we are no longer spending time in Hawkins, Indiana, or at least, not all of our time. Earlier this year, fans were ecstatic about a number of tweets posted by the verified Stranger Things account, one simply reading, We're not in Hawkins anymore. Although no specifics have been released or are likely to be released before the start of the new season, many have theorized that this tweet can be linked to the Byers family who have moved from Hawkins. The teaser trailer has also introduced a new location to us, which I assume to be Russia considering the high-intensity Russian music being played as the camera pans through an icy prison camp. So where will most of the series take place? Your guess is as good as mine, but one thing is for certain, we won't be discovering any more secret bases in Hawkins. And there you have it, some of the top secret Season 4 information that is currently floating around on the web. What do you hope to see in Season 4, and are you as excited as I am to spend some more time with the characters? Seeing as this might be the last season of Stranger Things, I really hope they manage to tie off any loose ends of the show. I mean, all the kids are going to be aging and growing out of the child role, they can only play a younger character for so long. 
Unless we see one of those six year later scenes, the age gap will just be too big. This might be a longer season, and of course there will be the delay due to the global health situation, so it makes it hard to really know when any show will return or start filming. We might be waiting a while. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.